Okay, if you want to find out how I got this cute, easy text in Procreate with just a few steps, then stay tuned. Okay, first things first, clean off your iPad. You can start with any canvas that you want to. I think I'm using um, a canvas that I use for Redbubble, but it really doesn't matter. I'm using Procreate 5. What you're gonna do is hit the wrench and under the Add tab, Add Text. It doesn't matter which, but I'm using Impact right here. And I'm just gonna write Hey. And when you hit Edit Style, you're gonna want to make it a little bit larger, but make sure you have your anchors all the way out so it has enough room to move. I am going to jack this size up as far as Procreate will allow me in the text edit thing, but I want it to be a little bit larger. So voila, I like this hugeness of this. Also make it a habit to keep checking your layers to make sure you're on the right layer for different things. you find that perfect one all you have to do is press it on your iPad press and hold it and hit save image and it will go into your pictures so now our next step is to open up procreate hit the wrench button hit add and then add picture and then you search for it find it and click it it'll be small and if it is small just pull the anchors to make it larger so make sure you're covering up all the letters. Now go into your layers and pull that glitter picture below your words. So you may ask, how do I get this glitter into these letters? What you do is you click open your layers, click on your letters. When you click on it, a drop down will come. Make sure you hit select. So it's selecting these letters. It's just selecting the letters because you're on that layer open up the layers again click on your glitter and then from here you're going to hit copy so it's copying the glitter and then next you're going to hit your wrench and then you're going to hit paste it may seem like nothing happens but if you open up your layers there it is so it copies it into another layer so if I disappear the make the glitter page disappear and pull this down now you can see the glitter magical but I still feel like it needs a little bit more because I'm extra so I'm going to click on that old text that we have and I'm gonna hit the move tool and then I'm going to move the black letters out like hey now you have a drop shadow so move it around, see where you like it best. Um, I liked it there. So now I'm like, I still feel like there's a little bit more. So I'm just moving this around to make it look a little bit better, um, giving myself a lot of room to move with. So I'm feeling like it needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna click my layers here and I'm gonna create another layer and I'm gonna put it in between the glitter and the text which is the black text, which is my shadow underneath. So on this new layer, I'm going to go and pick a brush. It doesn't matter which, I just feel like, you see these little squares here of missing black? That bothers me to no end. So I'm gonna fill that in. It just seems like there's something that's needed. So I'm gonna hit my brush. You can pick whatever brush you wanna use. It doesn't really matter. You're just filling that in. So I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm going to fill in that black space to make sh make it seem like the letters are connected more. It doesn't look like it's just sitting underneath the letters, the shadow. So I'm just gonna make sure they're connected and it makes it look like they go together. So a little tip, you're gonna be going between your eraser and your pen 
little shortcut is if you click the eyedropper on whatever color you want, if you're on the eraser and you want to get to your pen real quick, just eyedropper it, the color, and it automatically goes to the pen. That's the only tip I have with the pen because I really don't like the pen. Um, it does have a little click on the pen itself, a double tap thing. But for me, it's not as smooth. It doesn't click in between and I don't know what I need to do to figure that out. So if you guys have any tips on that, I would love to hear it. Okay, so I connected my shadow to my letters to give it a little 3D look to make it look like they're all connected. So I feel like I need something extra again because I'm extra. So I'm going to create another layer. And I'm going to put that layer on top of my glitter letters. I'm going to select a pen. I'm going to select a pen that I made in my last video. I'll put the link at the top so that you can make your own. And so I'm going to write on top of these letters just to give it an extra layer of awesome. But I didn't like the black. Um, it didn't seem to pop as much. So I just using white. And of course, like I explained in my last video, in order to get the desired effect, you would have to letter when you write, make sure that the pen does not leave the screen of the iPad. And so and there you go. So it all looks like it's all connected because if you lift the pen, it will create something totally different. And of course, this last little thing that I'm doing here is completely optional. It's one way of getting glitter onto your letters. Now here's the second way. Okay, I took all my layers and I made all my other layers invisible. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glitter paper and put it on top of my font letter text. Now click on that layer and you're going to make it into a clipping mask. Now that seems easy enough, but there's a downside to it. If you click on your text layer, and you click the move tool, it just moves the whole entire thing. So basically this is just a layer of white that has the cutout of hay. And then when you move it, make it larger or smaller, it just moves the whole thing. It doesn't give you very much options. You can't have your shadowing underneath. You can't draw, you know, around it. You can draw, I haven't even tried to do a drawing. I just don't like the options that are given to me if I use a clipping mask. So if I ever do one or two options, the first option or the second option, I'll probably stick with the first one. That's just my opinion if I want to make it look real. So that's the only thing. I just like this better. It just has more versatility. So there you go. You have just learned two ways in order to get glitter into your text. Which one you wanna use, that's completely up to you. Just have fun with it. Ooh, let's just say that you didn't like how light or dark your glitter or print paper is. All you have to do is click on that layer and go up to the top and hit the adjustments magic wand thing. You can change anything. You can change your brightness. You can change your hue and saturation. You could change the color of your glitter. What? I mean, I really love Procreate and the versatility that it gives me to do my idea that I might have in my head. You can do anything with this. Okay, like I said, you've learned two ways in order to add more personality to your fonts and your text. What I've learned with Procreate is that there's many ways to do one thing. So if you guys have a way that you do it with your Procreate, please feel free to leave that in the comment section, section below so I can learn something from you just as much as you learn something from me. Well, hopefully I think you do. But anyway, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Yay!